Hello everyone. So this video is kind of like an update from if you had watched my previous video talking about my health and everything like that. It wasn't my last video or like the past two videos. It was like the past third video. <laughs> um, I was talking about my health and everything like that and how I've been doing. Um, aside from the pregnancy, it was talking about my actual disability and everything like that. And this is kind of like an update video on that slash just kind of talking about what's been going on lately and stuff like that as well. So I actually just got back from um, an IV infusion clinic. I just started IV infusions. I'm really happy about that. I will talk about that in a second, but I just got home and I'm really hungry because I haven't eaten since like 11 o'clock this morning and it is now four in the afternoon. It literally like I had, my appointment was at like 1230 and I didn't get done until like three o'clock. So it was a while, but I have Storm here who was a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you were a good girl. They had to um, do the IV in my like wrist. I don't know, it wasn't even like in my hand. It was like more of in my wrist. It was weird. It's like the first time I've ever gotten an IV in my wrist before. So yeah, it was on this side, but I have it like wrapped. I'll probably take it off soon. Then I got my wristband there and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about how it went and how it's supposed to help me and like all this stuff along with other things. But right now I'm gonna eat. So I'm gonna head into the kitchen. I also did my makeup today. I usually never do my makeup, but I did my eyeliner and I think I did a decent job. This lighting has does no justice, I swear. I hate the lighting in my house, it's so bad. I currently made pretzels that I'm gonna eat. I don't wanna eat too much because I kinda wanna make a good dinner so I got a blender recently and I've kind of been a little bit obsessed with making smoothies so I'm gonna make a smoothie because I kind of wanted one this morning and I didn't have enough time to make it and I was kind of sad about it so I kind of want one now I usually like to make strawberry and banana smoothie but I don't have any bananas currently so I think I'm gonna make um, with this mixed fruit it's pineapple strawberries peaches and mangoes and I might put spinach in it just because spinach is something that's really healthy and I should be eating. Um, but it makes my smoothie like a gross color, so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I think I might just make um, a smoothie with the fruit. I forgot to grab the most important thing that I need, which is almond milk is what I make the smoothie with. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this and then I'm going to get into my pretzels too. Okay, so I got these like really nice, well, they're just mason jars actually. And this straw, like reusable straws, and <laughs> the straw is so much bigger than the mason jar. And it's so funny because it like sticks out way high, but there's my smoothie and it's really good. I have like a little bit left that didn't fit in the jar, but that's okay. As I drink it, I'll just fill it in there and drink it. So now I got that and I'm gonna eat my pretzels and yeah I mean obviously they're not like 
jamba juice or like tropical smoothie good but i think it's pretty good for me making it at home so it make me happy <laughs> so um as i'm gonna eat this i also wanted to quickly talk about storm a little bit because she is just so great like words cannot describe how great this dog is and i want to partially give her credit but also give myself credit because i've put so much time and work into this dog um she just turned two years old in june it is now october so she's a little over two years old and she's just so great and i'm really happy about that she did really good at my appointment uh helped me walk around the hospital to get to the clinic and then literally just laid or sat well laid she laid right next to the chair that you sit in for the infusions just the whole time it was really great when i first walked into the clinic uh all of the nurses there were really distracting actually to her because i guess they were just overly excited to see a dog they probably don't get very many dogs which is whatever it's kind of a given with the public even with doctors and nurses at this point they're just uneducated multiple of them asked to pet her and i said no like she's working um there was one lady i guess that she didn't hear me say it to the other nurses so then she walked up and like put her hand in storm's face and storm just like sniffed it that was all she did but all i said was no she's working and then finally they led me back over to my seat storm did really good um the entire time she was very focused on me there was a lot of loud noises that would go on here and there just loud beeping and stuff like that of other people's machines and she was just really good i mean overall she always does good when i go to the er she just did really good and i'm just so proud of her i'm gonna go ahead and insert some clips of my actual infusions of like when i went and i recorded some clips of how storm did and how she was acting and then how the setup was and like me actually getting the infusions and stuff like that so i'm gonna insert that now while i enjoy this yummy food <laughs> yummy smoothie <laughs> it's good Cloud, of course, starts drinking water as soon as I hit the record button. And then you just hear Cloud smacking on that water. So I got Normie here come with me. Cloud. Cloud never cuddles. Hey, Cloud. What are you up to? You can come lay down too? She lays on her side. Of the couch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right. Now we're all on the couch. I want to talk a little bit about the IV infusions and some other kind of uh, health care that I'm getting now. The main reason I want to talk about it because obviously I've always kept kind of a little like private about my health and my disabilities and stuff like that. This channel and all the videos that I've ever made in the past have all just been about the dogs, which, you know, is fine and all, but I kind of just, 
I want to change it up a little bit. I started IV infusions because I think that they'll help. Like that's just the simple matter of it. Since getting diagnosed with my disability, which is POTS, a little over a year ago, I have had nothing but medication shoved at me and medication just doesn't do anything. I have tried numerous amounts of different kinds of medication and just nothing has helped to manage my symptoms. Obviously, I know that I'm still gonna get symptoms every day. That's why it is a disability for me is because it affects my everyday life. However, I would like to have something to kind of help manage it a little bit better because there are just some days where I don't do anything. Well, especially now, like I literally don't do anything. I just sit around the house all day long. And partially it's because I don't have much to do. Like there's not really much going on in my life right now, aside from growing a literal child, <laughs> like living here. But other than that, there's nothing else going on in my life. And there's a, nothing going on in this area that I'm like interested in being in. So that's another reason why I stay home. But most of the reason it's because I don't feel well enough to go out because of my health. And that is what I talked about in that video that I had mentioned before. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I it's literally this video, which will also be linked down below as well. I talked in that video about how it is getting really difficult to manage my symptoms. It's getting really difficult to manage my health because I kept being dismissed by doctors. Um, everything that I was being given, like all the resources I was being given just did not seem to really do anything or have an impact on me. Like I said, the only thing I've really ever been offered was medications and it's been numerous medications and I feel like nothing was really getting anywhere. The only thing that I felt like would help was my emergency medications. That's kind of how I've been managing it a little bit. But finally, um, I went to a new doctor. This is a doctor I've never been to before. I genuinely felt like I was heard. I really feel like this doctor gave me a voice, not only a voice as a patient, but a voice as a human being, someone who is just going through a lot of pain and just wants to seek any kind of help that they can. He just really seemed to listen to me and understood the concerns that I had instead of just kind of listening to a little gist of it and then just throwing a medication at me, which is every other doctor has done. Now, I'm not saying every doctor is like that, but I'm just talking about my personal experience we sat down and he just let me talk. Like I just got it all out, I talked. I felt great after the appointment. Even if he didn't um, refer me to the things that I wanted to be referred to, I still would have felt very accomplished in that appointment just simply because I feel like he listened to me, which is a huge step, especially for you know us disabled individuals or just anyone in general who deals with medical problems, like common medical problems who have to go to a doctor very often, I feel like would feel the same as I do to where we feel like we're dismissed or we don't feel like we really get a say in ourselves for our medical conditions. And we feel like other people kind of talk for us when it shouldn't, that shouldn't be the case because it's us who is going through it and not them. The fact that I feel like I'm being heard from and the fact that I feel like I'm an actual human being and not just a patient. Also the fact that I am receiving care that I have been fighting for for almost two years now is just mind-blowing and feels great. Yeah, I hope you guys find it educational, um, helpful, especially if you're dealing with the same issues as I am or feel the same way as I did do. I still technically do. Um, I hope you find this helpful. And if you are struggling or fighting for current medical care, for certain things you feel like would help you if you're not being listened to, or if you feel like you're being thrown things that aren't as helpful as other things could be, just keep fighting. I know it's hard. I know it's a, it's a struggle. I know it, it's very tough, but just keep fighting it. Like I said, I've been fighting it for over almost over two years now and it's been a rough journey, but I am now here today. Even though I still have a long way to go, I think just taking this simple step that I did today feels amazing. So just keep fighting. I know it's tough. I promise you'll get there and I promise you'll be okay and I promise it will get all better. Huh. And look at the cute squishy face.
to make your day all better too. And Claude's all the way over there, so I can't boop her, but there she is. Hope you guys enjoyed um, this video, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. I'll give you a week because weeks can be pretty rough. <laughs> you could take it day by day, but sometimes when you look back, you're like, man, this week was pretty rough. So I hope you have a good rest of your week, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night. <laughs>